Hey guys, welcome back. This week we're going to take a look at a new advanced warehouse feature in Dynamics 365 that allows us to group picks together that are the same item and, and location. Okay, so we'll take a look at that when we get right back. Hey guys, welcome back to the Dynamics Post. I'm Scott. And each week I present a new feature or process in Dynamics 365. This week we're going to take a look at a new feature in the Advanced Warehouse module called Group Pick. So what this feature does is if, if you've got more than one line item of the same item on a sales order or on multiple sales orders if you're releasing them by wave, it'll group those picks together so you don't have to pick item one once and then item one again and item one again, you know, if you've got more than one, more than one line of the same item on a sales order, right? So not a lot of setup to this. Uh, so we'll take a look at the setup and the example next. All right, for the group picking, there's a couple little pieces of setup we need to do, a couple of switches we need to flip. So the first thing let's do, let's go down into warehouse management and we're gonna go into the mobile device menu items. And on your sales picking, app. So if we go to the sales picking app that I'm going to be using today, I need to make sure that I have this group pick uh, set to yes. That's what's going to uh, tell the mobile device to actually do the picking. Now one other little piece of setup that you need to do is on the work template that you're going to use. So I'm going to go back into warehouse management, setup, and then we're going to go into work. And then we're going to go into the work templates. Now the work template, what you want to do is you want to make sure that you're sorting by item number. So what I did on mine was I created uh, a sort by location, then by item number. I'm not grouping by either field. It's, it's pretty important that you don't group by. Otherwise, it's going to split the work in that, that way. Um, but uh, I'm not grouping by any field. And the way I did that, uh, if you're not sure, you just go into, ed into the edit query. And you go to the sorting column here. And then you add these two um, two fields here. So I did location and item number based on the temporary work transactions. And so what that does is that's going to sort it together. Um, so normally like when you create work that's combined, you might have item one, item two, and then item one and item two. So I need all the item ones together and all the items two together is basically for this to work is what why I'm doing that. All right. So for testing, I did make a little change to the wave template just so it's easier for us to see. Um, so basically what I did here is on the wave template, uh, which is this is the one that I'm using, or let's see, sorry. Um, this is the one that I'm using here. So what I normally I, I don't have this checked. I've, this is normally set to no, and then the process wave released to warehouse is normally set to yes. So what I've done is I've set this to yes and then this to, to no. So what this is going to do, as I'm releasing to the warehouse, it's just going to be building a wave, and then I'm going to manually release the wave. I'm going to go in the, into the wave and process it. We've never I've never shown that on the, on the channel here, but um, but that's basically what these two items are going to do when I flip them this way. So when I release, you'll see it. It's going to say wave created, but there's not going to be any work associated with it. It creates a wave and a shipment. And then um, this, so when I send the first one through, It'll create the wave. Then when I create the next uh, sales order and release it, it's going to sign it to that open wave. Uh, that's why I've just got this set up for our testing here. Okay, so let's let's go ahead and go into create a couple of sales orders. So we'll go to uh, sales and marketing, all sales orders, and I'll create a new one. And we'll use the same customer we've been using, US004. And we'll use the same warehouse, which is 24. And we'll use the same items. So we're going to do a 001 and an A002. All right, and then what we'll do is we're going to just release this to warehouse. And this is where I was talking about, about our wave changes. See how it's just created, it's added the shipment to, to the wave, uh, but there's no, doesn't say anything about creating any work because it hasn't created any work yet. You know, we can verify that if we go into warehouse and work details. Uh, it's no works created. So basically what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get both uh, both of these sales orders I'm creating onto the same piece of work is what we're doing here. So I'm going to clear a new sales order. And we'll do US-004. And I'm just going to use the same, um, same customer there. And we'll say OK. And we'll use the same products, A001 and an A002. All right, and then we'll go ahead and go to the warehouse and release that to warehouse. Okay, 
So now if I go and look at the waves there, so if I go into um, warehouse management and I go into my outbound waves and then go to shipment waves and it'll be under the pending wave because it hasn't been released yet, right? So I've got, uh, this is the wave that um, I got created, 289. So I'm going to click open on that one. So here's my two sales orders, 1425 and 1426. So again, there's no work created for these yet, but uh, my wave is going to do it when I process this. So all I'm going to do here is I'm going to click process. And it posts the wave. And then it tells me that work's been created. So it's uh, work 372. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. So we go back under warehouse management. And we're going to go into work. We'll go to all work. And this last, this um, work creation 372 is the one we're looking for. It created work 402. So let's go ahead and open that up. And notice I have all lines for both orders on this piece of work here. So that's when I changed the wave template, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to get both of these sales orders on the same piece of work. So notice with my sorting, I've got um, item A001 sorted together, A002 sorted together, and it's in, by, in location order as well, right? So this is kind of what you want your work to, to look like when you go pick it. Now, previously in Dynamics, when you had, had a work like this, when you're in the mobile device, it's going to tell you to pick one of these, and then it's going to go same location. You can pick one of these, and then you go to the next location, you're going to pick one of these, and then it's going to tell you to pick one of these. So it's basically four different steps before you get to the put. With that new group by option, what it's going to do is it's going to tell us to pick both of these, and then both of these is going to tell us to pick them at the same time. So let's take a look at that. So we'll go over to the mobile device. Actually, let's copy that work ID first. And then let's go over to the mobile device. And I'm just, let me back out of that. I'm just in my normal sales picking uh, app that, that I normally use. So I'm going to sales picking. And then I'll paste that work ID in there and say OK. So notice here it's going to tell me to pick two. So, so remember there was two separate lines, but it's basically grouping them together and telling me to pick two. So go ahead and put in the license plate, which is 24. I'm going to say OK. And here's my target license plate, which is 290. I'm going to say OK to that. And now, so it's telling me to pick two of my A002. Before I do that, let's go back and look at the work again. So if we go back to all work and look at this one again. Uh, open this up. And we'll see that these two work items got closed when, I, when it picked two of them, right? So now I'm on these two, I have two lines. So let's go ahead and we'll finish this one out. We'll say OK. Now it's going to tell me to take all four to the bay door. Okay, so now if we go back and look at the work, we'll refresh that. Oh, it's closed work now, but uh, let's go back and we'll show the closed work. And let's open that up. And we'll see that all four lines are, are closed and it's all picked under the same target license plate. So as you can see, that's a really cool feature. I think I'll turn that on even if I'm not releasing multiple sales orders in a wave. If you think about it, if you happen to get the same item multiple times on a sales order, it's gonna group those picks together. It's just important to make sure on your work template you're sorting all those together so that it picks them all up because it definitely doesn't do it if they're not sorted together, right? So, I, But I think I'm gonna turn that on and um, during my implementations, regardless if I think they're 100% gonna use that all the time or not, because it's a really, really cool feature. Um, all right, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it, give it a thumbs up. That way it helps the distribution of the video, more people can see it, that just helps me out. And also I put out one video every week. So if you like this content, please feel free to subscribe so you get notified when I upload a new video, okay? So I again, I hope you liked the video. And until next time, thanks for watching.